Ben Crowhouse, but it is Bromley that come away with it. It's Olomola here. Could be a chance for Corey Whiteley. Richmond working very hard in defence, but here's Whiteley. First chance of the game. And it stops this being a meeting between the teams in second and fourth. Passing on to the onrushing Michael Cheek. There's two defenders for company. Very nearly embarrassed them. Right of the target. A little bit here because it has been uh, one way traffic up to now at Hayes Lane. Could be a chance here for Marriott. Decent pass too. His Dacker's Chris Con Clark. And it's in. Altrigham lead. The magic man has pulled something special out of his hat again. Chris Con Clark helps Altrigham into a lead with their first attack of the game. Well, they've barely, barely been involved in the first 13 minutes. Andy Woodman looks shell-shocked on the side there, the Bromley manager. Don't mess around with it, little flick on into midfield. And then he picks it up and drives with it. This is a lovely little ball. And then that's even better. And it's Con Clark who squares it. And eventually, it's turned in with their first attack of the game. Now, well, does Alex Newby get the final touch here? No doubt about it, though. Con Clark played a key role in it. May well be an own goal off Josh Pashley. It's off Altrincham, especially with the table being as compressed as it is. Offside is the decision there, isn't it? It's a unfortunate one for Altrincham. Yeah, that's sloppy. Should have been offside there. Just lack of concentration. You can see what he's trying to do. Play it in and get it back. It's just strayed a couple of yards in front of the ball and offside and that's a decent opportunity gone there. Which is going to be difficult today, finding ourselves one down. This with a free kick. Here's Michael Cheek on the turn. Great stop by Ethan Ross. When Michael Cheek gets into those sort of positions, you expect the net to bulge. Terrific save again. It's another set piece that they win, headed in, and that first touch with his left foot from Michael Cheek is exquisite. Takes him away from the defender, tees it up brilliantly, but I tell you what, that is a top, top save. Take on Wilson. It's the ball in. Olomola, he's squeezing a shot. Oh, he's done well, and it's off the line. The first of all, Topoloi, who I think has been the pick of Bromley's players in his first half. That's brilliant from Olomola. Good defending in the end. The way he just stands it up, just asking for someone to go and attack that. Good play again down the left-hand side, gets him in. Olomola. Cheek. Didn't quite turn. Once again, back in possession. Dakers. Doesn't give it away. In fact, he's done even better than that. It's a super ball to Chris Con Clark looking for Newby. This time Callum Reynolds was there. That is the threat they possess on the break, isn't it? it certainly is. It's the jump out at you. Free kick given here. This crowd house was held back. I think Osborne is a little target. He's already been booked, hasn't he? Found himself in problems there. Is there going to be a, a second caution here? There is, and it's the worst possible start for the second half for Altrincham. Now they still have a goal lead to hang on to Altrincham. Things have got so much more difficult for them to do that. Almost immediately, a chance for Bromley to level it. Thinking about changes, Matty Coslo about to join the fray by the looks of things. Right. That's awkward. Right. Webster's layoff, Olomola's yeah. shot, and Bromley are level. 56 minutes on the clock, and Olivella Olomola hurled into the box. They struggle to get it away, first phase, second phase. Really good play. 
the tease up Olamola. That's a fantastic strike off his left-hand side. It's brilliant from Byron Webster. Big centre-half just rolls it into his path as it comes across. Lovely little setting-up ball, but that first touch from Olamola off his right foot, tees himself up. Still got a bit to do, body's in the way. Olamola won't complain. He's made it 1-1 here. As a very fierce tackle goes in in the midfield. Altrincham's players absolutely incensed and surrounding referee Michael Barlow. It's Wilson that's down and in need of some treatment. What do you make of this one, Kevin? Well, my first thought is that is a really horrible tackle. And my second thought is, I think I'm correct. The ball's gone. That is nasty. That surely must be the end of his afternoon after a tackle like that. And while we were looking at that replay, a straight red card has come out. Uh, something that he'll probably learn from. And he's certainly looking very remorseful in the dressing room at the moment. He'll hope that his teammates can get him out of jail here and find a winning goal. Here's Whiteley. Certainly the situation could be a lot worse for uh, Bromley here. Topoloi's ball in. Oh, Mola! A wonderful finish! He's done it again! Olifella Olamola with his second goal of their second half. Right-hand side, out to the left. It's Whiteley to Topoloi. And this is a pick. This is a pick out. What a lovely ball. And again, it's his first touch. He has no doubt in his mind what he's going to do. He's going to take a touch and as quickly as he possibly can get a shot off. That is top, top draw from Olamola. Fantastic stuff from the Bromley man. Here's Olamola back to Lee. Oh, that's a good ball from the youngster. And there's a chance here for Alex Kirk, who's in a lot of space. It's Kirk! Forcing the save out of Ethan Ross. And a good policy as well, because the goalkeeper may be struggling a little bit for mobility. I'm sure he'll have something to say to referee Michael Barlow if they don't take three points in this one, Bromley. After that, here's Lewis Lee going for goal! Oh, he's just wide. And the youngster who's done ever so well since stepping off the bench, very nearly claimed his first goal for Bromley there. Second half, but while it's 2-1, they're still in this game, as unlikely as an equaliser may seem. Bromley still got to be careful. They need that third goal just to put it out, out of sight. Portugal's fans have certainly backed them in large numbers today. Oops, they slightly missed the header. Here's Linney. Chance here for Dio Angus. That is as close as Altrincham have come for a long, long time. Well, like we said, Bromley have got to be careful because they've dominated this second half. But from nowhere, good play from Linney. And Angus, from a tight angle, absolutely smashes the crossbar. Flynn, it's again cleared away. It felt very kindly for Louis Dennis. Olufella Olamola getting up there in support. It's Dennis, oh, it's just wide. Bromley once again, very, very close to see. Sure to still be in the mix for the playoff places in 2024. It's Justin Amalusa, terrific run from him. Eventually ended illegally by Callum Reynolds. That is just the sort of run that uh, Altrincham needed. Yellow card for the Bromley man. And rightly so, Justin Amalusa. Powerful, strong run. And that's a, a one missed tackle, I think, from Whiteley, and he wasn't going to get past Reynolds as well. And this is a chance now, real big chance. And certainly in shooting range. Well, ordinarily, of course, it would be uh, the job of Chris Con Clark, but he's uh, long since substituted. So Alex Newby, perhaps, uh, will deputise. Newby already on target today. Couldn't be more central, could it? The goalkeeper with a real uh, decision to make about uh, where to put the wall and where to put himself. And the loser's also showing an interest in this for Altrincham. Who's it going to be? 
It's Newby. Oh, it's there! Altrincham have snatched it in stoppage time. A fantastic free kick from Alex Newby. And Altrincham have something to celebrate going into Christmas. He measured this one to perfection. Well, I'm always a big believer that there's one more chance. As you said, Dan, you couldn't get any more central. But that technique is wonderful. Up and down, over the wall, dip. And there is absolutely no chance that Grant Smith is going to get to that. It's going away from him, actually hits the side netting. What a terrific strike. And while Bromley haven't put the game to bed, there was always going to be the hope. Continue. And look at the room out there for Newby, who's got two big men in the middle. It's Alex Newby with a step over. Newby goes down. And the referee says goal kick. Well, what a big moment that was. Well, he's not complained a lot. And he's going to get himself a booking by the looks of it, maybe. If it is, he's going to go off, because I think he got booked early on. Well, maybe not. I think he's telling him to get up, but I'll tell you what, it's a good little bit of skill. I see it again here, it was certainly a dangerous tackle on him. Very, very clumsy from Reynolds. He's gone with his wrong foot there, Callum Reynolds, should have been his left foot. Right, it, right at the death here, Bromley and Altringham. Here is the final whistle. It finishes all square. A really hard-fought game between Bromley and Altrincham. Alex Newby's equaliser.